Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is I, the Scotsman of the Chaos Podcast, joined by once again, QB. Hello. We are back again with Sly Raccoon. We're going to finish off the Terra... Is it Terra in the Deep? I can't remember. Whatever. Mm, I think so. We're, we're, we're going to kill a frog today. And we oh, last no. left off, we just got to the second part of the hub world for this mission. We have two more There's levels to... Yeah, it has plopped me all the way back here for some reason, but yeah, we got through here. As you can see, the generator, she is destroyed. Also, yes, uh, when you do reset, I believe lives are kept, but horseshoe back there, live back there, and I believe there's a life through here on top of the... Yeah, there's a life through here on top of the pole, which I got last time. That respawns. Pardon me. Yeah, if we go up here, I'll save that mission to last, since it's a pain in the ass. Also, there's a life down there. So this one, you kind of have to do the same as what you did earlier, except instead of having big walls to hide, you just have little pipes. You just have to wait. Come to turn. Now you just kind of have to be up against the wall for him not to see you. You don't have to actually be hidden behind it. You just have to be doing your stealth thing. The Gunboat Graveyard. Not my personal favourite level in the game. That comes in the fourth level. Or fourth kind of area. We'll get to that eventually, but... More of these star guys, and... He sounds fun. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, as Raleigh just said, this is basically where he gets all these sh stuff unloaded from where the ships he's taken down. It's basically his personal money bank. I'm not even going to mention Spyro. No, that's money bags. Uh, oh, no one likes that guy. I certainly don't, that guy's a cunt, which is why I love it in Spiral 3 when you, you get that mission at the end of the game to chase him about the last map and... Oh, it's so therapeutic. <laughs> we have another one of those guys that belly flops, which is a pain in the ass. Just have to run out the way, smack. Get this. I believe we got all the clue bottles from back there, but just double checking, yep. Another safe with some clue bottles in it. We kinda get to that one over there, we basically have to go all the way around this map to get to those ones, that's near the end of the level, because you can see the key up there. What we need to do this time is climb this clearly placed thing, forget it's a clue bottle around here. I don't think so. Some over there. Few over there, few down there. Okay, I was... I keep again, it's locked to the shoulder buttons, then you go up this rope onto this old style plane, which in their days, wee, there's two clue balls over there, but you can't get to them without destroying that searchlight thing, so just keep going. Oh, so, yes, what you just saw there is eyes. I don't even know what this is meant to be, but I think they're meant to be sea creatures. An eye for an eye. 
get these two boxes over here. The safe is basically at the end of the level, so you don't have to worry about backtracking in this level. There's a few that are a pain in the ass, but if we go around here, there's a checkpoint. So the checkpoints just activate when you go past them? Yes, you don't actually have to hit them or that, it's just kind of... I don't even know how Bentley gets them here, apparently he launches them from the van. Everyone's like, hmm, wonder what that is, that's weird. Yeah, that definitely wasn't in schematics, why do we have these things that are clearly... Yeah, he just got me there, but I had a, sh I had a fucking horseshoe on me. Now, what you're meant to do is climb over them like this and jump down in them, but... You just gotta hit them there. Smack them. One there, Give them a good there. slap. Give them right. a good slap, Scotty. And destroy these, because it gives you coins. Double jump. Now this is a pain in the ass because you tend to just have to kind of bait him into firing his star early. Then you get him. There's two there, two. There is only 20 in this level which is nice, not the 30 as usual. There's another safe. Which should be up here. Yep. Just before the key. Only 20 this time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, if, if only that was a 3. No. Other way around. 913. So... Alternatively, if you don't want to use the stick stay move the thing, you just press X and triangle. Triangle moves it up. X moves it down. Which is odd, but... Another page of the clue. I'm glad they give you this mm. early, because this basically allows you just to farm horseshoes like no end. Cause mm. I'll, gi I'll give a demonstration. See? Just have to run by them. Ninety-five. You can get more coins, but... Let us just get the key. And we Back to prowling the grounds. I oh. hope this distro I find this drops me out near the uh drops me out the door, so I don't have to walk all the way back through, but Treasure in the depths. Now notice that only has a key in it, no safe. Well, that's one of the reasons I don't like it. The other reason being it's... Oh well, I may as well just show you. This is going to be fun, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> fun, alright. It's a twin stick shooter. No. You can always drive the sub in one direction while firing in another. Basically what you're doing is trying to destroy the crabs before they get to the key. Do not let a crab take one into a two. Uh, 
Your know, whole job with this is just to kind of, you have to destroy 40 chests without then getting taken into the cubes. So you just have to. I don't understand why they made it 40, it kind of artificially inflates this lip level a bit. Now the thing is, you Probably, yeah, just to make it longer. Your whole job with this is just keep destroying crabs when you see them and try and take out as many treasure chests as you can. This is where it gets fun. Over there, over there. Yeah, now you see why I don't like this level so much. Yeah, fucking. screw this. I mean, it is easier now. I'm a bit more patient. I used to be so <laughs> impatient. Really, what I usually do is just try and take out the crabs first before I try and deal with any of the... So you kind of can glitch a bit, where if you destroy a crab whilst it's holding a... Yep, this is why I hate this mission. You get so close to the end and there's so many crabs on screen, it's a pain in the ass. Hmm. I wish there was a way to... I wish the treasure chest just got destroyed in one hit. That would make this so much easier instead of having to put a lot of time into his treasure chests. Now one thing I do love about the, the shots is they do go through targets slightly, so you can kind of micromanage for the other side of the map. Over there, over there. It's going to be like that one Spyro mission, isn't it? But the the... You know which Spyro mission I'm talking about? I can't remember. I played all of them recently in the remake, but it was the one with the way you've got to protect the guy from the, and he's ah. running around. He runs into the enemies. Ah, I remember that one. Yeah, no one likes him. <laughs> Spear or the dragon. Now really it's just RNG where the treasure chest falls, so you could really get lucky or not. Really what I found is just kind of run about the map and just keep firing at things till you... Over there, over there. Now when it drops them right near the fucking... Right near the holes. I was too away. Uh. 
think this is the only vehicle mission I have a problem with in the game, bar the driving levels and some of the later levels. Because, yeah, we do have driving levels in this game and they are a sight to behold. I can't remember how I used to do this as a Back when I started playing this game, I think I just got lucky one time and gave up. I think after the halfway point it starts spawning more crabs anyway, so that's my problem. Just kind of have to keep micromanaging the crabs. Try and keep the chest localised to areas that are easy to get to take out these guys Decided I agree with you, I hate this. Need to relax, need to relax, need to relax. The last key, it's the last key. Where are we in recording? 18 minutes, so... <sighs> I've done this before and I can do it again. Distractions. Ten chests. A quarter of the way there. If they cut this down to twenty chests for this early in the fucking game, this wouldn't be a hard thing. Yeah, this kind of seems this, the, this kind of seems a bit excessive. Plus, how what if the cra what if it falls directly in front of a crab? That's the thing I hate. See, what I mean, really, our best bet is just to take out the chests as soon as you see them. Or the crabs. And the problem is there'll be so many crabs on the screen. that one <sighs> Rally can go suck a dick with your crabs I know how suggestive that sounded and I don't give a fuck okay that has got all the keys now we head over to the cannon you see ladies and gentlemen you either get very lucky with that game or you don't and 90% of the time never lucky because that game is fucking torture. Now, if you only needed six keys to continue on, you could skip a level. But how do I just skip that level? But no, you need all seven. Go here. Launch. Now we've unlocked the cannon. Which will take us to... Zeblin. That is where our boss arena is. Zeblin. Yes, we have. He has one thing I saw little Zeblin. Okay, by the way, I don't know if this is actually uh, accurate to Wales, but there seems to be a lot of marshland around here. Hmm, I don't think that's accurate. 
we're in the middle of the Welsh Triangle, so I'm hoping it's Wales. Mm. And also, if you ever stand on an edge. God damn it. Now let us fight Sarali Zethrog. Your Fire first, the cannon. First boss of Sly One. The Eye let us of do the it. Storm. Listen, Raleigh, wipe up my family and steal what's mine, you'd better expect company. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. How sloppy of me not to finish the job. Obviously, we should have snuffed you out as well. So, without further ado, let me make an end by what? Bloating to gargantuan size and Watching you like the insignificant bug that you are. You're you know? very specific with that rally. Also, mm. he's fat. What you basically what you need to do is just. Jump, wait for him to land. Then whack him once. He'll drop platforms. You just have to kind of dodge around him for this one. You always bounce five times before you can whack him. Yeah, he takes four hits and basically rinse and repeat. Or oh, then more. Or wait until he's small. I know. Yeah. And then. Blast it all! You've beaten me! Well, gloat all Are you what? I never told you my name, how do you know that? City is so well guarded, a snake couldn't slither in without setting off alarms. You're a frog, you're not meant to drown. Rock section of Athebius Raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's ninja spire jump. A technique you can into the thickly fortified castle for two hours. Also, pay attention to these specific cutscenes, you'll notice a running theme in them. A little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox. Why, hello, Carmelita. Busted Raleigh and his crew. <laughs> now the frog goes to jail. With the storm machine out of commission, mm -hmm. both found their way back onto the ocean, and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle faded from memory. My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather. And then <laughs> came back home, excited for our next hike. Yes, our house is... Pleasant weather. That's not yeah. accurate. Uh yeah, apparently our base of operations is a trailer just outside. Yeah, Tide of Terror, as you can see, seven keys, six safes, done. Now, if I go here to Bentley, see, the first four, I believe, are unlockable cutscenes. These are... Mugshot... Aye. I think to unlock most of the cutscenes, you have to do the time trial things, where you basically replay the missions, bar the submarine mission against the time limit. We're all set to go yes. To city. Ladies and gentlemen, on the next episode of this wonderful Let's Play, we'll be heading to the Americas with our little dabble into Utah, where the villainous Mugshot resides. Mugshot. That's yeah. a great name. <sighs> now, one thing I do like is once you finish an area, it kind of gives you a map of where you've been in that, some collectibles, statue, all that jazz. We're all set to go to Mesa City. I know Bentley, but we're not going to Mesa City. Uh, let's 
Goofy, actually. I suppose I could talk about a few things, yeah. Well, the way this is laid out, the mission, the gate, the levels do get slightly longer as you progress. This one's slightly longer than that. We've next the one after this, about the same as this one we're going to, and the one after that's longer. But the last one's a weird one, and we'll get to that. But that's spoilers. So, QB, anything else yeah. to say? Uh, remember to stay hydrated. Not yes, too right. hydrated, though. You'll end up like the frog. Yes, a frog that's meant to be an amphibian drowned, apparently, or got unconscious for being in the water too long. I do not know. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Anyway, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. Ciao, everybody. This has been your Scotsman, signing off.